Hey everyone, Cooking with Sue here. I just wanted to show you what I'm doing with the coconut walnut mix that I made earlier today. If you saw me this morning, I was taking unsweetened coconut and um, you can use pecans, that's usually what I use, but I had Walmart walnuts today. And I just put them on my large bar pan and you'll notice that my large bar pan is very well seasoned based on the color of it. It's nice and dark, so the longer you use your stoneware, the darker it gets. And um, it becomes non-stick. So I just toasted these in the oven um, for probably about six minutes. I stirred them every two minutes until they were done. And I use this as a snack often. My husband uses it on his salads uh, for extra flavor and it's low calorie and it's got omega-3s because of the nuts in them. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you the simple slicer. Um, if you use this tool, you must, must, must always use the food guard. The food guard is going to keep your fingers from getting uh, chopped and I want you to see that there are little uh, pokey prongs on the side here and what that does is um, it keeps your food stable on here. So whether I'm going to be slicing an apple, but you can poke uh, cucumbers and carrots and um, mushrooms or radishes, whatever you would put on a salad or a Subway sandwich, you can poke onto the food guard. So the food guard keeps your fingers away from the blade, which has three settings, thin, thicker, and thickest, um, and it's going to keep your fingers away from the blade. If you don't, I can guarantee you, your thumb ends up getting chopped. So um, it's a safety thing, but I've had six-year-olds use this tool, so as long as you're using the food guard, it is completely safe for everybody. Hey, great for onion rings, he says. Yeah, I agree. Um, so one of the things I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slice my apple and um, speed is your friend. You wanna get a good rhythm going and you'll notice that I have my hand on the base first until the apple comes all the way down. Then I move my hand to the top so that um, I've got uh, more stability and the apple goes all the way to the end. And you'll notice um, I did not core my apple. I just uh, sliced it as is and there is no waste. There is literally no waste on the entire apple. And what happens is the seeds actually fall right out. And so then all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your little spreader, you're gonna put your peanut butter on top and then you're gonna top it with your um, coconut and almonds or coconut and pecans or for this case, the um, walnuts. So coming out soon. So I wanna to talk to you guys for just a quick second about a few tools that are being discontinued and coming out soon. So we have our tool turnabout, which will carry a ton of weight. Uh, and tons and tons of tools can go in this tool turnabout. This is the old one that's being discontinued, February 28th. This is the new one that's coming out. It's much smaller. It's got some great um, things that I like about it, such as the center actually is removable, so I can take this right with me to the side of my stove and uh, put it next to my stove when I'm cooking. It also, in the base, has a, um, a spoon rest here, so I can take the spoon rest out and leave that right near um, my stove, but when I'm not using my stove, I don't need it to be there, and you can tell the color, um, the stainless steel uh, brushed nickel look is beautiful, which is matching so many different kitchens, but there's pros and cons to both of them, so if you want one of the big ones, I posted a picture of like makeup and um, crafting ideas to use in the other large one. It's really um, a great tool, and if you don't have stainless steel for your kitchen, you can use contact paper. I saw somebody use a beautiful uh, brass contact paper on it, and it matched her new kitchen. So that's just a tip. Um, I am going to be doing an online a reveal of all the new products that are coming out and if you want to be invited to that event um, it's just going to be on Facebook it's going to be one hour I'm going to post a bunch of photos of the new products and some new recipes comment below and say add me to the event and I'll make sure you get an invitation to it it'll just be online literally um, and you can watch it whenever you want but you have to click going to the event for you to be able to go back into the event after the fact to see the photos so if you're not available at 6 30 next Monday night no problem, but you'll definitely want to um, click going. So um, comment below, as you all know, I'm sure you've noticed in your Facebook feed that we only see like 25 or 30 people now and not all of the regular people that we used to see before. So please, please comment below. That way when um, I post something, you'll see my stuff and I'll get to see what's going on on your page because unless you're viewing or commenting on people's pages, they're gonna start not showing up in your newsfeed. So I'd like to see what you all are doing, so say hi. Bye, guys.